Hi. Welcome to another video in Channel Movies Unboxed. Today I am going to explain Netflix horror slasher film named Texas Chainsaw Massacre, so watch out and take care. Also subscribe to the channel. Thank you. Nearly 50 years after Leatherface's killing spree in 1973, young entrepreneurs Melody and Dante, Melody's sister Lila and Dante's girlfriend Ruth travel to the abandoned Texas town of Harlow, to auction off old properties to create a trendy, heavily gentrified area, that can get them some extra money. While inspecting a dilapidated orphanage, the group discover it is still occupied by an elderly woman called Ginny. The woman invites them inside and offers them tea. They notice that she carries oxygen cylinder as she has bad health. When she claims she has papers to prove she still owns the property, an argument breaks out between Ginny and Dante, which is briefly interrupted by a silent and towering man from upstairs. Ginny then tells him that everything is all right and to go upstairs. Due to heated argument, Ginny then collapses from a heart attack and is rushed to hospital, accompanied by Ruth and the man. An investor, Catherine, along with a group of potential buyers arrive in Harlow on a large bus, distracting Melody and Dante. Meanwhile, Lila strikes up a friendship with a local mechanic, Richter, and reveals she was a survivor of a school shooting, leaving her terrified of guns. Ginny dies en route to the hospital, Ruth texts Melody about the woman being dead, and before the man goes berserk, the officer tries to stop him but the man kills him with his own bone, and murders the officers driving the ambulance, leading it to crash. When Ruth awakes, she witnesses the man, revealed to be Leatherface, cutting off Guinea's face to wear as a mask. Ruth manages to radio for help before being killed by Leatherface, who then makes his way back to Harlow. During a property auction, Melody reads Ruth's texts and prepares to leave with Lila. Richter overhears them talking about Guinea's death and confiscates their keys, agreeing to give them back once they provide proof that they rightfully removed Ginny from her home. Melody and Dante try to search the home papers in their files but, it is not there. So the couple go back to the orphanage to get back the home papers. Meanwhile, Sally Hardesty, the sole survivor of Leatherface's previous killing spree and now a battle-hardened ranger, learns of Ruth's attack and heads out to investigate. At the orphanage, Melody discovers the papers and realizes that Ginny was wrongfully evicted. Leatherface arrives at the orphanage and attacks Dante, mutilating him. Melody hides as Leatherface retrieves his chainsaw from his bedroom. A rainstorm hits Harlow as night falls, and Catherine and Lila take cover in the bus with the buyers. Dante manages to stumble out of the orphanage where he is discovered by Richter before bleeding to death. Richter enters the orphanage with a small gun, but as always, he is attacked and killed by Leatherface, with a hammer to his head. But, before dying Richter keeps the keys of car in front of Melody. Melody retrieves the car and bus keys from his body before fleeing the house, reuniting with Lila. They both get on the bus, but they are pursued by Leatherface who begins slaughtering all of the people aboard when they try to make fun of him. Melody and Lila escape the carnage and come across Sally who locks them in her car before entering the orphanage to finally confront Leatherface. She holds him at gunpoint, demanding he remembers the pain he inflicted on her and her friends, but is met by only silence before Leatherface walks away. Leatherface then attacks the sisters in Sally's car but they are saved by Sally who shoots him. Sally gives Melody the keys to drive away before pursuing Leatherface. Leatherface ambushes and fatally injures Sally. Melody hits Leatherface with Sally's car before crashing into a nearby building. Melody is trapped but orders Lila to run away. When Leatherface appears, Melody apologizes for what they did to Ginny. As he moves into attack, 
Lila attempts to shoot him, but her gun is empty. Sally shoots him instead and he flees. Before dying, she encourages Lila not to run as she will be forever haunted by him. Lila then takes Sally's shotgun and pursues Leatherface into an abandoned building where she is ambushed and attacked. Melody arrives and takes Leatherface's chainsaw before using it to uppercut him, knocking him into a pool of water where he sinks to the bottom. They escape and Lila finds Sally's hat and puts it on before starting the morning drive. However, Leatherface emerges, still alive, and drags Melody out of the car before decapitating her with his chainsaw. A horrified Lila watches as the self-driving car takes her out of Harlow. Leatherface dances in the street with his chainsaw and Melody's head. A post credit scene shows Leatherface making his way to the house where his original massacre took place. 